It's a little bit jittery, but it doesn't sound all that fast. I really have to set this down. This is insane. Try to get a view of the trigger. Most of the sensitivity seems to work. Why is it turning? Why is it turning? It's got a mind of its own. No reverse. Wait. Yeah, no reverse. Well, that's interesting. I wonder if it's just some settings inside the ESC. Oh wow, it's got a, uh, it's got some sort of slipper cut inside. But that's weird because if there's no torque going to the rear, it'll go to the front. Oh yeah, if there's none going to the front, it won't go at all. So that means there's some sort of locked differential on the slipped differential in the rear. Locked in the front. And that's interesting. So for its time, wow, this is a hobby grade vehicle with uh, one-way differential, all-wheel drive, very twitchy. Try to clean up the, uh, I think they're called potent meters inside. Maybe that'll help. No, it's so jittery. Here we go. One for the throttle. Oh, hey, is that reverse? Yeah, there's reverse. So that means uh, the potent meter for the throttle is definitely dirty. It is definitely dirty. Somehow linked with the steering. Can you imagine walking around with this and it just jitters like that? That's insane. Okay, enough of that. We you know that that's not going to work. For anybody out on the field. I mean, if you're holding that, walking around, it's just not gonna work. There's a zip tie here. So, well, I'm, I'm gonna gut this and, and swap this out with the Hobby Wing 1080p, usually used for crawlers, but it is absolutely perfectly fine for um, replacing your original ESC or maybe your Traxxas or your Arma. That's still just a stock brushed motor. Wow. Does that exist? Wait, wait. RacersEdge.com. So they must have tried to power it up before. Eh, it wasn't working too well for them. Six cells. 7.2 volts. Don't need it. Hmm. That's weird. Hmm. And then channel one for our steering. And of course, the battery. Here we go. Steering looks good. 
What's going on with this motor? There's all that stuff coming out. Insulation? That's a bad idea. <laughs> if I find insulation in there, it's like, who put insulation in there? I can't believe this motor's not working. What on earth? So the motor has a faulty connection of some kind. And it's definitely struggling. Okay. Let's gut this baby. So we immediately find our issue. Oh my gosh. Who in their right mind? Old insulation. Insulation. I can't believe it. So now, for those of you who've already recognized, I've just recognized, this motor has the ability to have um, the brushes replaced. Easy. Oh my gosh, this is a very, very, I mean, I had to go out of my way and buy one from Reedy that has replacement brushes for this time. So if, if, if it dies out, I got something for it. Wow, that's, that's neat to know. So I mean, this just was on there like that. Oh wow, the capacitor isn't even on there correctly. It's not soldered, it's just kind of on there. Somebody couldn't get it on there all the way. Okay, well let me just get the wires off. Because the rubber boot's cooling off for, for waterproofing, but um, it's really making it hot. No numbers. Oh, and you know what? The mesh is off too. Good thing I didn't run it. That's way too loose. There's a large amount of teeth. So let's try count. It's a 20 tooth pinion.
<laughs> now that's where it's supposed to be. I see we got some 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 bent shafts. What's interesting is there's no space for a motor mounted fan to cool it. Not even a heat sink. Wow, I'm excited. All right, so I'll do some last minute touch-ups to it. Put it together. All I need to do maintenance wise for this thing for the track I mean it seems to be rolling freely in all the important places hope nothing's broken but we'll see when we get out there. I'm wondering if I should take that out. Just a small little bend. A little wobble right there in the shaft. It's only effective when I'm turning, but even then still. Oh, I guess I won't worry about it for now. Get this baby to the track and see how he does. Boy, it's slick up here.
Wow, no going in the snow and the grass. <laughs> <laughs>